everybody. Welcome back. Happy holidays, and I hope you're doing good. We're a little bit under isolation, not a lot, but they want us to kind of stay home. So I've been organizing and I found this old ornament I had for my chicken feathers. I used to have a chicken named Petey. She was beautiful, I miss her. And I, I had made, I, you know, I made this a long time ago and it's not pretty anymore. It's been sitting in a box. And when I found it, I thought, I'm gonna bring this idea back. And what you do, look, I tried a little bit here. What you do is you just save those old compacts. You get the mirrors off your compacts, just snap them off. And you know, they, they're so nice. I hate to even throw them away. So what I do is I save the mirror part. And here's one here. This was probably eyeshadows. And what you do is you take any paper you can find, a Christmas card, if you want it to be really fancy, or newspaper, you know, a comic strip, and then just glue the back. Just glue the paper onto the back of your little mirror. And I've already made a loop for a hanger. And what I like doing with the, what I, I like to do is I'd like to put these on the knobs of my fancy cabinets. You know, just for Christmas, you know, when, when you know, you look at them and there's just an empty knob there of a drawer or whatever. These are nice. So here's another one. And I did try these beads. It's not really sticking. <laughs> it's not really sticking. So I thought to myself, you know what? I might do some pearls. And I thought, I thought, this is really a cute project. I'm just gonna show them. But what I really love these mirrors for, I carry one in the car. And I'll tell you why. Because the best sunlight is when you're driving around in the car. And <laughs> I do my eyebrows in the car. Yeah, I know that's crazy. My husband's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, uh, don't worry about it. You know, you just keep driving. Look how cute this is. Just drop them on there. You know, when you get your, when you get your glue hot, Use whatever you have. You have pearls, bottle caps, whatever. Decorate this the way you like, you know? And I kept thinking about that. I kept thinking, you know, I, I don't want to throw these away. I don't want to go out and buy a mirror. I already have mirrors. So I just started recycling these. And this was years ago. I would just save them. And you could do whatever, you know, do whatever. I, and I have real busy ones and everything, but I just thought that was so cute. And like I tell you, a long time ago, I had done the chicken thing. This was hanging on my tree and I loved it. You know, so I don't know if you have these, but some people don't wear makeup. I understand that. And if you do, recycle everything, girls. You know, don't throw them away. Who's buying a mirror? That's like buying the box for the... Oops, do I have a kitty cat here behind me doing something bad? Oh, no, that's my, my little Santa. I've got all these wires behind me for my tree and everything. And so when I step up here, it, it goes nuts. You know, I, I end up dropping something or something falls over. Okay. That's cute. I want to thank everybody. Uh, you know, I know I'm, I've got 20 subscribers. I'm so excited. You know, and I told myself, you know, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to do this. And if I get 20 subscribers, that's going to make my whole year. I thought it's going to be all worth it. I helped 20 people save some money. I thought, I don't care. You know, I gave them some craft ideas. And when I saw I had 21 subscribers this morning, I was like, yay, that's great. So there's one little mirror. Like I tell you, decorate the back. This one's so pretty on the back that I'm gonna keep it. And you know, I carry this in my car. I carry one in my bag. And let me tell you something, when the phone, the cell phones, the big phones came out, I was the first one that had a mirror on the back of my phone. Cause all I did was I get, I got a pin. You can get these, you, if you have a sewing needle, you can pop these out. You can pop these mirrors out. Well, I had a little one. That's, that's hot glue in there. I had a little one and I had popped it out and I had taken that mirror, the recycled mirror that I didn't throw away and I put it on the back of my cell phone. And you know, any, anytime I was out and I wanted to see, you know, you know, do I have something in my teeth or, you know, do I have anything on my eyes? I would look at the back of my cell phone and a couple of people asked me, well, where did you buy that for your cell phone? And I'm like, I made it. I'm like, you know, I just, I just got an old mirror and I popped it out and I put it on my cell phone and I had, I had, you know, I had actually hot glued it onto my case. So that's the problem. If you don't want to ruin your case, don't do that. But I just hot glued it onto my case. Now they're selling these. They sell these for about 10 bucks on the back of your cell phone. Please save yourself the money, find a small mirror and do it yourself. So that's just one little idea. The other idea I'm very excited about is for my pet people. You know, I've, I've got, I've got pets, you know, everybody I know has a pet. We, you know, we love our babies. We want them to look good. And since we're not going out a lot, we're just going to take like a picture on Christmas and say, you know, Merry Christmas. We're sorry we couldn't see you. And I want to decorate the collars of the cats 
So, and my friends have dogs. Oh, and um, uh, uh, Kat, I saw, I couldn't leave a comment yesterday. It wouldn't let me. I think it's my computer. Your Boston is so cute. You told me you like Bostons, and look, we love Bostons too. My in-laws used to have three of them at one time. Now they only have one. Thank goodness, they only have one. But we used to dog sit for them and everything else, so we love our Bostons. And so this one is for collars, and you probably have this at home. If you just get an old collar and decorate it, and if you want to, you can use the um, the little pom poms. They're at the dollar store. They cost a dollar. You get a whole pack, and all you do. And this one's an old one. I had this one on the cats last year, but I was just going to show you how easy it is. Let, let's get a pretty. Let's get let's get some more yellow on here. I just went with the yellow, and these were tiger ones. And I thought to myself, this is so easy. Just redo your old collars, you know? You might have old collars sitting around a basket or something. Some people don't throw them out. You save them. And, you know, this is for, and, and, you know, you don't have to use this every day. This is like a picture thing. This is like, you know, you take your photos at your house of your pets. And I thought to myself, this is so cute. I have to share it. I have to share this idea because I do this and I'm going to make some for our cats, but I want to do a bow tie. I want to do a little bow tie because I have a cat that is so beautiful. He's such a big boy and he's got the most beautiful coloring, you know, the most uh, print on his, on his fur. And I thought, I'm going to make him a bow tie because he's really special. And I thought to myself, you don't need anything. All you need is a t-shirt. This is an old t-shirt. Just cut up the old, I, I cut up a scrap of old t-shirt that I had, navy blue. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to wrap it around in a little loop. Just circle it around and you're going to meet it in the middle. And then you're going to take another strip. I hadn't cut the little small strip. And all you're going to do is make a strip. Or you could get a ribbon. If a ribbon's easier for you, and just go ahead and cinch this in the middle. Okay, there's that one. Oops, I can put my paper up. Okay, and put my paper up, okay. And, and this is so easy. And all you have to do is just cinch it in the middle and attach this. And make, make a little, make one knot, you know, make just one. And then what you do is you attach it to your, just go ahead and add this to your collar. Oops, there we go, I didn't go in the middle enough, okay. But this is the easiest thing ever. And if you have pretty fabric, use that, you know. But this is just in case you don't have fabric. Some people don't, you know, some people don't collect fabric like I do. And, and that's fine. You know, use what you have. Don't spend any money. Just go ahead and grab a t-shirt. Grab an old, you know, an old shirt that you're going to, you know, donate or doesn't fit. And there it is. You made your little, you made your little bow. And you can make it thick, you can make it wide, or you can make it very thin, rib, you know, little bow. And here's your collar. And I'm going to go ahead and open this just to make it easier on myself. And take and make sure you need, leave enough strands. Did I do that? Yeah. I, I left enough of a little strand. You know, just to go ahead and gather, you know, to wrap it around your collar. Make another little knot. And this way, you know, it's not locked in there. And it's it's not going to hurt the dog or anything, you know. It's just, it just, it can slide around. And it's cute. It's just cute. And I thought to myself, you know, I know a dog doesn't want to wear this all the time, but for photos or a family deal, look how cute that is. And there you go, just straighten it out. And if you really want to go crazy, you could decorate the whole bow or you could do all that stuff. But I had, I just think that's so cute. And you know, it's so easy. It's so easy. And you could, you could go crazy. You could, you could add sequins, I thought. But, you know, don't do anything that's dangerous for your dog. You know, be careful. So I thought to myself, and what I'm going to do is, Gambling Granny, if you're watching, I'm looking for my old Crown Royal bags. I'm going to make my big, my big kitty, Bugsy. I'm going to make her, <laughs> I'm going to make her a Crown Royal bag because she's a devil. Let me tell you, she would, if, if she was a person, she'd be a drinker. So I thought I'm going to make Bugsy a Crown Royal, a Crown Royal bow tie. But this fabric, I loved it. When I saw it, I thought of Mickey Mouse. I kept thinking, this is a Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse kind of fabric. So all you have to do, I already cut a strip right here. I cut a strip right, very simple. Cut that and go ahead and make a loop, like I tell you. Make a loop and make the, make this as big as you want. If you want your bow kind of long, you're gonna have to make the loop a little bit a little bit bigger. But if you just want it, and you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell once you cut it, make the loop. Go around your, I go around my hand and then I cinch in the middle 
And there it is, look how easy that is. Look how cute. And just use another piece of fabric, another piece of strip. I'm talking too fast. Okay, cut another strip of fabric for your tie. Tie that off, cinch it in the middle, and then leave, some st leave a strand so you can attach this to your collar. And it's so easy, it's so cute. And you know, I, you know, I go to PetSmart. I'm always at PetSmart. And I see these and I'm like, people buy those? I'm like, you know, one of those things, you're, you're thinking, people buy those little bow ties for, for New Year's or whatever, or a birthday for a dog? I'm like, make your own. There you go. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna switch this one off. Oops, wrong way. Okay, we're gonna take that one off. I'm gonna put this one. And this is a leather one that I had from a long time ago, you know. I don't think we'd put this on the kitties because we like the tear, we like the little nylon. But for a photo, it's perfect. I mean, you know, it's perfect. We stand in front of the tree, take a picture, that's it. We're done. And with this whole isolation thing, you know, we miss everybody. Oh, gosh. That's why I hope everybody's doing good. I hope everybody's safe. Look how cute that is. And, you know, I use whatever you have, you know, don't go out. But uh, these are very easy. Like I tell you, you can decorate them. You can even add some pearls or beads or whatever you want. But I was just, you know, I was in a hurry. And I thought to myself, i got to show the girls this. I thought, but, you know, recycle these. Keep them in your purse. If they're little, you can maybe pop these out. If not, you can decorate them. Decorate these things. You know, you can do whatever you want with them. You can put beads. You can put buttons on them. But... You know, who throws away a good mirror? It's on the back of your a compact. Save it and keep one in your car. Like I tell you, you might have something in your eye. You have one in the middle of your console. You just pull it out. That way, problem solved. Because I thought to myself, imagine when we pay for this stuff, I kept thinking, it has to be in the packaging. What we're paying for is what they have to package everything with. The makeup's probably like, you know, whatever. <laughs> At least that's what I'm thinking when I buy all this expensive stuff. So anyway... I hope everybody's good. Gambling Granny, your videos are great. I just want to tell you, I I was missing people so bad that I made a whole little party last week. When y'all when y'all were recording, I was having my my little nacho plate and I had my wine and I thought, you know, I just want to I just want to go out for some entertainment. But, you know, if I can't go to Vegas or whatever, I'm here. I'm at home. So, come on back and uh take care everybody and thank you. Bye.